Let's see if this camera can pick up just how busy and tired we are. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you couldn't tell by my absence on all forms of social media and even a few weeks here on this YouTube channel, it has been busy around here. I'm sure I don't have to tell you guys about how hectic it can be at the end of any year, this one in particular, but I did wanna sit down and give you guys an update. I've been receiving messages from teachers, prospective teachers, interested educators about opportunities in the online teaching space, specifically on OutSchool. And a lot of these teachers have experience in ESL and I've been curious if it's worth looking on OutSchool to bring those skills to the platform. Well, lo and behold, I received an email from OutSchool looking for VIP kids style classes. I am going to share that email here on the screen and if you have any other information, thoughts or ideas, let me know down below in the comment section and be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Also, if you've not yet done so, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I know I'm ranting about how busy I am now, but I do hope in 2024, I'm going to be pivoting some of my content. I would like to outline other options that educators or entrepreneurs can have have in the online teaching space or just the online space in general. So if that's interesting to you, if you want to hear about things like other platforms you could teach on, other ways you can make money online, or just how you can expand perhaps like resources or services on other websites, let me know down below. But let's go ahead and pull up this email. Sharing my screen in three, two, one. The email is titled New Seasonal Opportunities Here and Abroad, and this is part of the OutSchool Marketplace Insights. This gives us information in terms of changes to the handbook, scheduling, things that parents and students are looking for, and this week they're introducing East Asia Winter Camps. And it says, are you looking for a way to make more money this winter? Hmm? Consider teaching during East Asia peak hours. The word peak will always bring up like a VIP kid sense of nostalgia. If you guys remember way back in the day, if you were also a VIP kid teacher, the word peak or peak peak, those were the days. Starting at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time through 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That is 8 p.m. to midnight Eastern Standard Time. If so, we have an amazing opportunity this December. Educators wanting to reach this audience should start listing sections specifically for East Asia time zones. Popular camp and class topics include writing classes, debate, public speaking, ESL, ESL conversation classes, vocabulary, phonics, and many more. Do you see where the VIP kids style of classes are coming in? To have your classes highlighted on the East Asia Winter Camp page, you must have two to three sections available in the East Asia time zone from mid-December to February 17th, 2024. So if you are either an established out school teacher or you want to get started and you want to know what classes are in demand and you have availability in those time zones, I would highly recommend it. I know one-on-one -on -one class formats are popular, but so are group classes, classes that meet once a week, even classes that are pre-recorded so students can complete them as their schedule allows. I saw this and while I am currently not available to make the Eastern Asian time zones at this point in time. I wanted to pass this information along to you. If you or anybody you know is interested in making a little bit of extra money or having your classes put into this search engine, I highly recommend uh, getting on out school or making these kinds of classes. My tip when it comes to this sort of thing is to make different styles of classes. Maybe have a one-on-one -on -one ESL class, but also have a group class or a camp or something like that. That way parents have options depending on their schedules and their students' schedules. For me right now, when it comes to out school teaching, I teach classes between 8 and 11.30 a.m. and then 2.30 to 5 
p.m. That way in the a.m. time, I am getting students over in Asia and Europe that are getting out of school or are in the later evening. And then after school is the like 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At this point in time, I am also in a musical, so I'm not able to teach after 5 or 5.30. So for me, I get some requests from students in the Pacific Standard Time Zone, and I am currently at this time not able to fulfill those requests. But for me, the top selling times are, honestly, every class I have at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time has at least half enrollments. Uh, sometimes even my 10.30 a.m. Eastern, because I do have some students who are homeschooled and they like to have my out school classes put into their like daily routines. And then after 4 p.m. Eastern, looks to be pretty booked as well. And then down below in this email, it does say trending academic classes, and it states academic classes are all the rage right now on OutSchool. Between semester long ongoing to one on one classes, over 80% of all January one on one bookings are academic. And I won't lie to you guys, I've seen a big uptick in enrollments in classes in January. I'm not sure if it's just students wanting to try out out school. Maybe they've gotten some class credit as maybe a gift or something. But if you are looking to get started, I would recommend now, especially if you can do those Asia camps, and then maybe make a few academic classes that you could do at the start of the new year. For me, when I got started on out school, my first year, I wanna say year to year and a half, was part-time. I would go teach in the classroom and then I would three days a week teach between like 3.30 to 5.30 and then Fridays I would do like four to six or something like that. So you do not have to do out school in a full-time capacity. I know I get that question sometimes because I think some of the topics on my videos and my titles might mislead someone to think that out school has to be full-time. That is not the case. If you just wanted to teach a single class one day a week, you are more than welcome to do that. I have a teacher I used to have one-on-one -on -one sessions with last year. I helped her get onto the platform. Uh, she teaches a crocheting class two days a week, and that is just her hobby. She just loves doing it and wanted to share her passion with the world. She really didn't care about the money aspect. I mean, she said that she uses it as her coffee and fun money. But if that's something you are interested in, I would highly recommend looking into it. If I scroll down, it does show the tutoring enrollment by subject. Top subjects right now, I'm gonna make it bigger on the screen, English tutoring, math, music, world languages, life skills. I did not know life skills was so high in the search. Uh, the arts, coding, wellness and health, games and hobbies, social studies. Those are tutoring, so one-on-one. -on -one. And if I scroll down, it states group classes. So these are classes that people want to be taught, obviously with one teacher and multiple students. High, high up on this list is English, followed by the arts, life skills, math, science, world language, coding, social studies, music, games, wellness, early education, and test prep. So if you are able to do any of those in a one-on-one -on -one or a group setting, um, I am here to tell you, I'm not being paid to tell you, I'm just literally reading the stats that they sent out to teachers and prospective educators on the platform. This is what people are looking for. So even if you are not looking for full-time employment, if you have a passion for English or for the arts or languages, maybe you do speak a foreign language and you would love to teach it, do one-on-one -on -one conversations, highly recommend looking into this. But again, if you are looking to do some ESL style classes, I would look into this East Asia winter camps going on. It does say they want these classes to start mid-December, and they wanna have most of your classes listed by the end of the month, which would be November of 2023. You guys, let me know your thoughts on this. I'm always curious what you think about these changes or opportunities. I do hope that in 2024, I am able to do more videos kind of like this, sharing updates or again, additional opportunities. Let me know what things you are doing. What ways and places do you try to make money online? I know I've spoken to some online educators who now do VA work, virtual assisting. They make resources. They do one-on-ones. They sell courses. They 
Gosh, they do so many things. Data annotation, they do Amazon affiliates. There are so many different ways that people can make money online now. And I do want to highlight some in 2024, even if I'm not personally doing them, I kind of like just reporting back and seeing what I find. If you yourself have any fun, interesting, or unique ways that you make money online, let me know down below. You can also shoot me a message on any of my social medias. I want to talk to some people who make money on Pinterest, who do maybe thrifting or Etsy, all of those fun things that people make either, you know, passive side hustle money, Money or even those who have made it their full-time jobs. Anyway, guys, that is it for now. I know I raved and ranted about how busy it is right now, which I'm sure it is for you guys. At this point in time, I am about to finish up the week. We have some family coming in for Thanksgiving, and then I am in tech for my show. Tech is basically the term for we're going to be even more busy as we prepare to open our musical. Anyway, have a fantastic week. I am not sure if I'm going to be posting on a weekly basis in December. You might just be getting some shorts. Maybe I'll call it shorts mess or something. And we will go from there. It just depends on how much time I have to edit. Anyway, guys, have a fantastic week and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Spray, you, you look ridiculous. How is that comfortable? Well, I guess I can't put my laundry away if, uh, you're laying in it. <laughs>